I'm here to ask questions. I'm here to ask questions about how can it be that when, they, when the reality of the Oslo process 20 years later is so unbelievable, the opposite of what was hoped for. You know, from that day one, when Paris, Paris was one of the signers on the Oslo Accord, when it wasn't, when it wasn't even approved by the, by, the, by the PLO. The PLO never approved the Oslo Accord, never canceled the covenant. Those should be, those, that's what should be on the agenda today. If we want to have nostalgia, fine. What happened as a result? Only one week ago, the Center for the Study of Terrorism at, uh, at Herzliya, run by Dr. Ruven Ehrlich, puts out a report, a 188-page report, that the Palestinian Authority, working together with Hamas, working together with Islamic Jihad, is planning a, a massive war against Israel on all fronts. But people are saying, listen, it's an important work of Hasbara, of positive propaganda for the sake of Israel. So many people are here, so many visitors from abroad. When you lie about Israel, when you lie about Israel, you hurt yourself. When you present Israel as a Potemkin village, that everything's okay, you should win in the short run for Hasbara and lose in the long run. When every diplomat at this conference who's being told that the Palestinian state is going to be created and it's going to be a live at peace with Israel, when the disappointment comes about, they will understand to, the, to what extent people were lying to them and how this misrepresented reality. When we ask the people from the president's office how the president is out there uh, saying out political opinions about the two-state solution, they say this is the position of the government of Israel. The, uh, <clears throat> something very clear that has to be emphasized. The government of Israel never approved any, anything having to do with the Palestinian state. Never happened. The, it, is, it is the recommendation of the Prime Minister of Israel since June 14, 2009, for four years the Prime Minister has been promoting it. That is true. But it is not the decision of the government of Israel. It is not at all. Quite the opposite. We are, uh, in, in Bibi's party, there's exactly two members of, of his party who support the idea of a Palestinian state. And then you have Baida uh, Yehudi Bakule. And you don't have a government decision on this issue. If Bibi were a mensch, he would bring it to a government vote pro or con the idea of a Palestinian state, and let's see what happens, but he won't do that. Everything here is spin, everything here is, to, is ke'ilu, and the worst thing of, world, of all is promoting what they call the economic peace, where you have here a guy named Al-Masri from, from, from Nablus, from Shechem, promoting uh, business with Israel. At the same time, he's also working with the, with the Fatah, which is all, all working to overthrow Israel. In other words, yes, P, uh, business today, war tomorrow. That's what's going on. That's the message of this conference. And anyone, and the problem we're facing is most people are not asking questions. Most people are, are coming in here and enjoying uh, hobnobbing with, with Bill Clinton, with Monica, with everyone who's come here. And, you know, that's what, they, that, that's what they're happy with. Sorry, that, it, it, Hasbara is not hobnobbing. It's telling the truth about Israel and asking people to support us in our struggle.